So, you know, cruising home, heading to Grandpa's house, do some paperwork, you know, chill for a little bit. And uh, this is what I end up doing. Yep, poor old Honda didn't want to make it home under its own power. That's all right. We'll get her fixed up, figured out what we got to do. But in the meantime, I'm just going to, you know, hang out, cruise on like this. So I better quit talking to you and I'll see you soon. Well, we made it back to Grandpa's and we tested. So far, it doesn't seem to have spark. We're not confirmed yet, but you know, we just did a quick little pull the spark plug out and pssst, you know, didn't work. Troubleshooting begins. Welcome to Mikey's world. All right, so we took apart the distributor, you know, we're also going to check this little yellow wire, see if we got 12 volts with key on. Because that'll make sure the little key switchy thingy majiggy on the inside is good and bringing power out here. Which I did that years ago, which you think it wouldn't be dead, but again, years, cheap parts end up failing. But also in here, there is some massive corrosion in there. So we're going to give that the wire wheelie here wire wheelie give that a shot and hopefully something all right guys so i think we come up with a solution i think it's timing belt you know because watch this i'm gonna have grandpa crank this over here and you'll see this belt spin but you won't see the distributor spin see that no spin and then the spin over there all right and it just sounds like there's like absolutely no compression. So it's either the timing belt that's goner, which is most likely in my opinion, or just the shaft and that thing quit working and it snapped off in there. But I think it's timing belt, you know? But to get into that, I need to take this motor mount off or I need to get to that just to be able to take this inspection cover off just because I got these fat fingers, these ones, that just don't, you know, they they don't fit in there anywhere. Can you see the mess? So I've got some destruction to do to be able to make sure that it is the timing belt, but I'm pretty positive Mikey ruined the timing belt. Hopefully not the whole motor. Bummer, big bummer for sure, you know, but just live, it's fine. We'll fix it, hopefully, get her back on the road later, and yeah. So it got really windy, and I mean really windy out of nowhere the other day. So we just pulled this sucker up in here in the garage, and I called it a day, because obviously, I had a frustrating day to not be able to get my car home. Well, I got it home, don't get me wrong, but under its own power, you know, it always sucks when a car breaks down. But it's home, I tore her apart here just a second ago to get some confirmation if it was time and belt, and let's go give that a look. All right, so let's take a look, see here. So I had to get the valve cover out of the way to be able to get the cover for the timing inspection played off so you know i just picked her up and moved her out of the way let's just set her over there for now it'll be fine but to do so you obviously had to take the spark sparkulator wires off and then there's just the four nuts the thing popped right off i had to take the alternator wiring off to be able to get into here but check her out here is your timing belt and as you can see whew, she was long due to being done and she's just hanging out here you know just pull it out almost wear it like a chain like this 
You might as well start wearing around so I know how many timing belts I go through. Now check out that ugly break. Holy cow. She definitely came apart. Unhappily. But that's proof. I did in the timing belt. And my little Chekarooski using the distributor was definitely a success. But it's always nice to check and make sure, hey, this is my issue. So with that confirmation, this poor little guy is going to have to sit here till I can gain some money to be able to get a head gasket and a timing belt and all the other goodies I'm going to need. You know, so that'll be in another video. If you want to check that out, stick around. You know, subscribe to the channel because I'm going to get to it. I like the car a lot, okay? Even though it's not a Chevy, I like my little Honda. So, give me a like on the video if you liked seeing my mess up. You know, and I'll show you how to fix it later. <laughs> give me a comment. You know, that's good. And we're here for a good time, not a long time. So, don't forget to stay motivated. Thanks for watching.